Monica. I'm going to do a little bit of a wig chat. I had, actually I'm going to try this wig on in a little bit, but I had received two wigs from the wig company quite a while ago and both of them, the blondes were, you know, a little too much for me. So this particular one, Summer Heat, which has heat friendly fibers and I have seen this on many content creators and I said, oh, this looks so beautiful. It is a beautiful cut. And this is a super affordable, affordable wig. This is actually from their Statements line, which is exclusive to the wig company. And this is Summer Heat in the color F26613. The cap size is average heat friendly fibers so you can curl this or you can wear it straight. I'm going to take her off the recap here I'll show you the inside. It does have a lace front and the lace front goes back a little bit, extended in a bit so you can see more of a parting or whatever so you can part it. It's And I like a deeper lace front because it gives you more of that natural look in the front. The cap itself is very stretchy. It's actually very comfortable. So when I got this, I thought it was just too blonde for me. I put it on, of course here I am with a dark, how do you like the dark on me? Um, but anyways, I thought it was too blonde for me. So I wanted to play with the rooting. And I ended up buying this root spray. L'Oreal Magic Root Cover Up in Medium Brown. So I'm kind of nervous as to spraying it on here. So I did a little test on the inside here. So you can see, I'm not a total fan of how that looks. It, I don't know. I'm not a total fan of how that looks. So I am not too sure that I really want to spray that on here. And you know, root cover up comes out. You can wash it out. I thought I'd be better served with, instead of spraying the root cover up, which is a darker brown, I thought I'd be better served to maybe just spraying a little bit of a dry shampoo. I actually have beautiful brunette in the dry shampoo. So I thought that perhaps I could spray the dry shampoo along the roots. I do think this is a lovely wig. I think for someone who is super blonde, they might really like this. It's an affordable wig that I think mimics a much higher quality wig. So I'm gonna put it on and then I'm going to spray the roots and put it back on and let you know what I think. I you know what, I love this wig. I love everything about this wig. I really do. It's just the color is not for me. I'm gonna turn so you can see on the back. Some people, I've seen some people that have actually curled this because it's heat friendly. You can curl it. You just have to be careful. You can't have the temperature be too high, if you know what I mean. It has to be more of, you know, 350, I think, or 325. There's complete direction, so you can definitely check that out. If I can get the color a little darker, I would wear this. I would wear this. So, I'm going to give it a try. Alrighty, so this is my handmade root job. You know, the thing is, when you use a spray, whether it's a dry shampoo or it's a magic root cover up, they're only temporary. You know what I mean? They don't, it's not like they're going to actually stay on the hair, your hair or any kind of a wig hair. So I used. I think, I mean, I think you can see I did a little bit of low lights, not very much at all because I was really afraid. I've never rooted a wig. This is definitely easy because it's temporary. I know I could shake it out. I could comb it out. I could do whatever I want. I mainly use the Batiste and this is the dry shampoo in a beautiful brunette. This is mainly what I used on it. I took it off, I put it on my wig head, and 
I kind of like, I knew I wanted the part. Now, because this does not have, this is just a basic cap. It does not have a monofilament. So I knew that I couldn't be playing around with my part too much. But truth be told, for the price of this wig, I can make the permatease work. I can make the part work. I can make the style work. So I was really hoping that I could make the color work a little better by rooting it. It's a very discreet natural root. I was afraid to go too heavy because I was really afraid to, you know, to have it like have that too ashy gray color like on the inside when I did the sample. So, and then I used a little bit of this. So I used both of these. Both of these are temporary. So it isn't going to last. However, I wanted you to see how easy it is to do that type of a hand, um, you know, hand homemade root job, so to speak. That sounds weird. I also wanted to tell you the wig cap itself, for me, on the air tabs, runs a little small. So the air tabs, because I have bio hair, the air tabs does not cover my bio hair. Even though I have this, the cap cinched large, it does not really cover it, which wouldn't be an issue if you had blonde bio hair or really light bio hair. But mine, especially around there, is darker. So for me, I would be pulling some of this forward if I was going to be doing anything at all, you know, like pulling it back or whatever. So let me do a spin and you can see what I've done. <laughs> So, yeah, this is my how to do my homemade root job on my summer heat from the wig company. This is an affordable, affordable product. This is from the statement line, and um, I like it. What do you think? How'd I do?